Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Today I want to talk about the version rollback feature in the Divi theme. So sometimes you update Divi and then you realize maybe there were some issues, maybe you forgot to use a staging site or whatever the reason was, maybe you had auto updates on, whatever it was, you need to basically either solve the problems or temporarily roll back to the version before because the version before was working fine, right? So you have that option. So in this video, I'm gonna show you just how to access that, how to actually roll back a version, but then give you some considerations to decide whether you should use this feature or not. Let's take a look. As always, if you're watching this on YouTube, click the link in the description down below. You'll come over to the post. Uh, this one's mostly uh, a written tutorial. And there's a couple things that we need to talk about like I said, but first of all, let's just get right into showing you where that feature is, the rollback feature. If you go to your website, go over to Divi Theme Options, and then click on the Updates tab. Now you'll already have to have your username and API key in here uh, for updates, but the version rollback feature is located here in the Updates tab. Now if I click on this, it's gonna give me a message. You'll be rolled back to, you know, it'll give me the version number and it's gonna install the previous version of Divi. Now, something to mention here. This is kind of like an undo button for the update. So if you had gone and clicked update, this is kind of like an undo button. Now, something to note, this does not go back to the previous version of Divi, it goes back to the previous installed version of Divi. Big difference because you may have skipped some that were never even installed. So look at this for example. You'll be rolled back to version 4.10.1 from the current version 4.10.6. So we missed, you know, 0 0.2345 in there, right? That's correct. I've never had those installed, so rolling back will go to the previous installed version. I just wanted to point that out. Um, some people ask for or wish that this had a, a feature to select your version of Divi. Um, I think that would be a different feature altogether. Um, and I don't think that it would necessarily be helpful in most cases. Usually what happens is you'll update and you'll, you'll face some problem and then you'll be able to kind of undo it if, if you think you need to, and we'll talk about that. Um, but if I do click roll back to the previous version, um, it'll just do a little, a little spin effect and say, that it was done. In fact, then if I go over to my themes and click on some details here, look at this. Now version 4.10.1 is installed. Now when I update the latest at this time is 4.10.8, um, I can view the change log and um, update. So let's just, I'll just show you this when I update this and go back in here click on here again and like I said it goes back to the previous installed version now it's saying you'll go back to 10.1 or 4.10.1 from from 4.10.8 okay that's just, that's as simple as it is that it's that easy rolling back you're basically undoing clicking update so there I've updated you saw me update it and I could roll back that would be the use case now some considerations before you do this, you gotta really ask a couple of questions, and I have three of them here. You know, rolling back may seem like an easy way out or a quick solution. You don't want to deal with it, so you, you know some issue that you face, so you undo it in a sense. Um, that's not very uh, permanent. That's very temporary, and it's kind of like kicking the can down the road. You're gonna have to deal with it at some point. Um, it, you know, I guess there's times where you just, you don't have time for some reason, but a couple of things to ask is, you know, what troubleshooting steps did you take when you updated and saw the issue? And for that, I highly, highly recommend checking out our guide. It's called How to Fix Divi. You do not need to be an expert. This is actually pretty basic stuff. So when you update and see problems, definitely check this out, like clearing your cache, saving your permalinks, these are just common things. Check your system status, see how things are doing. Enable safe mode, check that way. Check for plugin conflicts, check your browser extensions. 
um, make sure your hosting's good, and then there's the rollback feature and support. Um, so yeah, consider like, oh, I've done all of those, and I still have problems, okay, then you may need to roll back. My point is check those, take just you know a couple of minutes and check those, and more than likely it's gonna solve your problem. More than likely, okay? A couple other things, so like how bad is the issue? So if you updated, it was like majorly like, wow, everything is chaotic and wacko, and it's like, what is going on? That you may be best to uh, roll back, then move to a staging site and check out what's going on. Um, that would be kind of like a, a use case where rolling back would, would definitely make sense. And then kind of like along those lines, how long would it take? So if like, if it's just like, oh, I have this one issue here and it's like, hmm, I got to figure this out. Well, it's probably not that big of a deal or like how long would that take to fix? Otherwise, or if it's like, wow, there's all these problems. I don't have time to fix this. People are on my site now. I got to just roll back quick. That, that's kind of the consideration that I'm, I'm talking about. You know, weighing those, I guess, pros and cons of waiting and troubleshooting or doing some minor troubleshooting and making a decision that way. I hope that makes sense. So, yeah, basically, you should be using... Think of the updates in terms of... Um, there's three numbers. There's the main number, like 4, and then 0.10, the second number. And then there's going to be, like, from 10, 1... You know, 4.10.1, 4.10.2, etc. Normally, you're not going to even face an issue where you would have to roll back on that last number. Probably not. It's unlikely that you would have to roll back when you update from like 4.10.7 to 4.10.8. Pretty unlikely. Now, if you're updating from like 4.9 to 4.10, then yes. Or... 4.0 to 5.0. You know what I mean? That's kind of a general rule of thumb to consider. More than likely, if you're updating like the, the last number, it's probably something that you could solve with that guide, how to fix Divi. Um, and, you know, if you do update to like one of the other numbers and you're facing issue, um, just kind of Maybe you want to roll back and kind of use it as a reminder or a lesson to use a staging site. Always create a backup first. We have a guide on that. Uh, let's see, where's that one? Make a backup, a guide on how to make backups in Divi. And then this one on how to create and use a staging site. So that's a really helpful one. You should be using that and that way you don't have to ever have problems on your live site. And then just checking the change log just to see what changed. Get familiar with it. We have a free resource here on our website. It's called the Divi Change Log, but it's really a simplified um, and styled version. You can see that we even have it, uh, which one's the latest, and we have it styled real nice. And you can choose like, oh, I want to go back to see what 4.10 was. Um, see how it scrolls back to that one. Little handy little feature. So check the change log. Make sure that auto updates are not enabled. Uh, yeah, that'd be a bad idea. You can check our guide on that. Yeah, so hopefully those considerations are helpful. You know, if you do have to roll back, now you have some things to think about. You know, how long will it take? How bad is it? What steps have I taken? And if you have to, you know where it's at. So I, I do hope that was helpful. Um, it's not a feature that I use much at all. In fact, I. I don't even know if I've used it once or twice ever in my whole life. Um, especially if you're using, you know, st standard, proper methods of backing up your site and testing it on a staging site. You're probably not going to face an issue, but hey, there it is if you need it. So give me a thumbs up if you found something here valuable. And if you like Divi, um, be sure you're subscribed because we do Divi tutorials here every single week. All right, well, we'll see you all in our next video.